Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use some features in Excel to weed out the duplicates out of a data set. Okay, so this has got to be my most important video ever because I need to clean up this uh, list of American Beer Festival winners. So basically, I've got a spreadsheet of over 900 uh, beers, and I basically grabbed these from... The Great American Beer Festival winners. I just went through and I picked out 2017, 2018, 2019 winners and copied and did a paste special over into Excel and I have those all grouped together. However, I want to use some features in Excel to clean this list up. I know I've got some duplicates because sometimes a beer is going to win over a couple different years. So I'm going to clean up those duplicates and I also want to be able to sort this in a little bit better so I can have a printed list that I can take with me on uh, bigger road trips or vacations. So if I happen to be in uh, in Colorado I can stop by those. So I want to do a little bit of cleanup and some sorting. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the beers in my list here. Now there is over 900 so a quick trick to that is just to do control shift down arrow. So basically I click on the first beer let me go back up I must do control home so I click on the first beer name in row 2 control shift down arrow and that's going to select all of the beers in there and I'm going to start off with conditional formatting which is on my home ribbon I'm going to go to highlight cells I'm going to highlight cells duplicate values and I'm perfectly fine with that light red fill dark red text I'm gonna click OK so now in theory I've got a bunch of duplicates all highlighted so they stand out now some of them are gonna have pretty consistent names I'm curious about this so I'm gonna do a sort I've already applied a table format to this so I'm gonna filter here or actually sort by color and I can sort by this light background color that's fine and I can see that all of my potential duplicates are up near the top, but it's still a little bit misleading. So let me go ahead and do a more detailed sort. I can head over to my data ribbon and I can click on sort. This time I'm going to sort by beer name uh, based on cell color in pink. That's good. I'm going to do that. But I also want to add a level and then sort by beer name, sort on um, cell values A to Z. Click OK. That is going to put all of my beers that are duplicates up here at the top, and I can start to see where I have some information that is duplicated. All right, so based on this information, I can click anywhere in my table, and I can be in my data ribbon, and I can choose to remove duplicates. Now, I want to be pretty specific about what I do here. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck Select All, or there it is, Unselect All, and I'm going to focus on beers that have the same beer name and the same brewery and I could be a little bit more specific with the same city and state but I should be pretty good with beer name and brewery so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some duplicates beer name and brewery I'll click OK and that's going to reduce a lot of those particular beers now the only downside is of this is that I am getting obviously in different years of awards some breweries had a slightly different variation of their name so that didn't get caught however I could try this again and say alright well maybe I need to go by the same beer name and in the same state and the same style looks like this brewery could have moved or had a separate location alright so I can try that again I can just be anywhere in my table head over to remove duplicates unselect all this time I'm gonna go by beer name I'll do city and state that should feel pretty good click OK actually I'll do style as well click OK takes out a few more six more duplicates and then I can just kinda of see what I have going on just because a beer happens to has a, have a same name so there's uh, several Hefeweizens um, however they are slightly different uh, cities and states and things like that so I might follow up with just a bit of manual fixing so I could see that definitely this 1956 Golden Ale is at the uh, looks like the same brewery just with a slightly different name change and I could just go through and delete those particulars okay so it looks like I really just had a couple that I manually deleted so it wasn't many left over now that I'm tired or done with having that particular formatting I can go back to my home ribbon conditional formatting manage rules and I can simply delete the rule that was giving me that color coding don't need it anymore 
and now I can just do some more helpful sorts for me. Basically, I can head over to my data ribbon, open up the sort, and I can remove the current sorts that I have and start to add several new levels. For instance, I would like to sort by um, state, and then I'm going to sort by city, and then I'm going to sort by the brewery. And I'll do all those alphabetical, A to Z, pretty happy with that, click OK. And now I'm going to have a pretty organized list that I could ultimately print out or save onto my uh, tablet. And when my wife and I go on big road trips or vacations, we can say, okay, we happen to be in the city of Carlsbad, California. What various breweries are going to be available to us that we want to go check out and so forth. So have a little fun with this and certainly go out on the web, find lots of data that interests you. And then don't forget, you can use conditional formatting to highlight your duplicates. And then you can use data and remove duplicates to start to take that uh, unnecessary information out. Take care.